Now we're going to move on to part B of the question where it asks to describe the distribution. Anytime you're asked to describe the distribution, you need to remember the uh, acronym that Mr. Mike and I taught you, uh, CUSC, center, unusual features, those are holes and outliers, spread, shape, and context. So as a quick review for center, center, uh, you're going to use either mean or median. Uh, you use mean when your distribution is roughly symmetric, you use median in all the other uh, scenarios. In fact, I would probably use median in this scenario because we really don't know all the data points, just ranges of them. Uh, I'll jump down to spread. Since we are going to use median for center, we want to go ahead and use either IQR, the interquartile range, or range for spread. Those are what gets matched with median. If we had used mean, we would have used standard deviation. Uh, shape. On shape on this one, we would use one of three. It's either going to be roughly symmetric, skewed left or skewed right. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. And then context, we need to talk about what we're talking about. So in this case, the adult visitors at a vacation resort. So um, this shape is roughly symmetric. It is roughly symmetric. It's not our typical roughly symmetric, but it is roughly symmetric. Rather than use mean, which is much more difficult to calculate from a histogram or the data provider, we're gonna use median. And the way that I would figure out the median of this distribution is in the problem it explicitly says there are 765 like people mentioned here so the median is going to be the middle so i'll divide that by two that's going to give me 383rd person um, what i would then do is i would go and i'd count the bars until i found 383 the 383rd person would fall in the 40 to 50 bar therefore the median of the distribution is between 40 and 50 years old and by putting years old we hit the context point right away since we use median here for the center, we are going to go ahead and talk about spread, and that means we're going to use either the IQR or the range. In this case, the IQR is a little bit difficult to calculate. I, I have the calculation here. I'll let you take a look at it, and you can ask questions if you have any by email. Um, it's a little more complicated to get that, um, but remember that IQR is a number, so it's not just a number to a number, so we wouldn't say 30 to 40 years to 60 to 70 years. We need to figure out the difference between the two. Um, just as a reminder, quartile 1 is 25% of the way through the data, and quartile 3 is 75% of the way through the data. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use range for the measure of center, and the range is max minus min. Again, it's a number, not like a 2 thing. It's not uh, 20 to 30 years old to 70 to 80 years old. You actually need to go ahead and do the subtraction, and the subtraction is kind of small here. The way you're going to figure it out is you're going to go ahead and subtract the inside numbers, the 30 and the 70, the outside numbers, the 20 and the 80, which is gonna give you a range of 40 to 60 years old. Um, another ch chance to kind of hit context. The last, the next thing we have to talk about is anything that, that is unusual about this. Um, I would exp expressly say there are no apparent holes. Um, outliers are really difficult to determine because we only have ranges of data. Again, here is the explanation of how I'd find the outliers. In this case, there are no apparent outliers, but I believe you would be, it would be acceptable according to the grading score to say that there are no apparent outliers here. So at the end of the day, what we want to say is we want to say this thing has a median of 40 to 50 years old with a range of 40 to 60 years old and uh, no, no apparent holes and outliers are difficult to compute from this. That should be how you'd enter that. Again, remember your your, your acronym CUSS, C-U-S-S, -S, with C for context.